Hello everybody! This video is about how to use file history in Windows 10. File history is probably the main function used to backup and restore data in this version of Windows operating system. In spite of its name, file history is not just a method to restore previous versions of files, but a full-fledged tool to backup your data. Unlike complex backup tools, file history is very easy to enable. First of all, connect an external hard disk to the computer. You can also connect a flash drive or a memory card if you need file history enabled for relatively small files and folders. A network folder can be used too, if you have any. For example, I will use flash drive. Now click on the Start menu, go to Settings, Update and Security, Backup. In the next window, click Add a drive and select the media you need. In my case, it is a USB drive. After that, file history function will be enabled and Windows will automatically create a backup of your files on the indicated drive when it is connected to your computer. In order to adjust file history settings, click on More options. Uh, the default setting is that backup is performed every hour and the files are kept forever. These settings can be changed as you wish, for example, uh, to error 3 hours and keep 1 year. You can also force backup to run right now by clicking on Backup Now. File history only creates copies of the files stored in such folders as pictures, music, videos, documents and desktop, and files from OneDrive, which are available offline. In the latest Windows 10 versions, all these folders are found in the User Account folder. In order to add another folder, click on Add a folder to select the necessary directory, for example, Test folder, and click Choose this folder to make the system back it up. Similarly, you can take away a folder you don't need to back up with the option Exclude these folders. You can also click on Add a folder. Select the folder Music, click Choose this folder, and Windows will no longer back it up. If you want to change the drive where file history will be saved, click on Stop using this drive, but the data will not be deleted from there. After that, select the necessary drive just as I did in the beginning of this video. It is because Windows can only work with one drive to save file history. However, there are more settings to see. First of all, click on Related settings. See Advanced settings and get to the Control Panel window. After that, select Advanced Settings. In this Settings window, we can also change file saving options. Clean old versions of files and folders, older than 1, 3, 6 months, and so on. Offer other computers of a group, if your PC belongs to a group, to create file history on your drive. And you can also open file history event logs to view recent events or errors. Now let's see how you can restore files using file history. For example, I accidentally deleted the folder test containing an important file named file test by using Shift plus delete. In order to restore it, go to the Start menu, Settings, Update and Security, 
Backup. Click on More Options and select Related Settings to click on Restore Files from a Current Backup. In the next window, choose the files and folders you need. In my case, case there are Test Folder and File Test File. You can also view all previous versions of this file. For demonstration purposes, I edited this file three times and forced backup after every change. To restore the files, select the necessary file or folder, in my case test folder, and click on the green button saying Restore to original location. Click Continue, and after copying, all your data will be restored where it was kept before deleting. I would like to note that when a folder is restored, all files will be restored only to the last saved versions. You can also open the File History Restore window from Control Panel. File History Restore Personal Files Or go to any folder, which is included in the File History, for example, Test folder, and click on on a special symbol in the Home tab. It takes you directly to file history. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!